I'm going to throw another factor into this as well, because maybe Brady didn't blow a gasket on Bruce Arians. Maybe someone with the last name of Glazer went to Bruce Arians and said, Bruce, we need to explain something to you. Have you have you noticed how many more people are at our games this year <laughs> than in 2019 when you were the coach and Jameis Winston was a quarterback? Have you have you do you do you understand what having number 12 means to us financially? We would kind of like to have him play for us as long as he will. 45, 46, 47, 48, whatever it is. We 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 want him. So let's not let's not take any chances here when it comes to, you know, calling out a guy for something he didn't do. And also Bruce Arians understands the importance of protecting Tom Brady from the kind of pressure that causes him to make ill-advised throws. Here's Arians on the importance of keeping Tommy upright. We've got to protect our quarterback better early in the game. And, yeah. uh, and maybe we'll, we'll take some shots down the field like we normally do when he's protected. But when he, if he's getting hit a bunch early, he ain't hold on to it very long. I don't know when yeah. it does. There were a couple, two or three, that we maybe could have held on to it and, and thrown it down the field. Uh, but uh, in a game like that, knowing the coverage that we're getting, um, throw it underneath and, and get on to the next play and make sure we get five or six and, and play it that way. Teams want to make us – They want everybody's trying to take that away. And we know that, so it's going to be hard to get down the field. And we, we, you know, we haven't seen a lot of it this year, but what did we see last year, especially in the NFC Championship, where, as you pointed out while we were watching the games on Sunday, it would have been one of the all-time great title game meltdowns if the Packers had managed to win three interceptions on three consecutive drives because Brady has a propensity when he feels the walls closing in to, to do what we saw Derek Carr do a couple of times on Sunday night, throw it up for grabs, to avoid taking that big hit. And I'm not going to criticize a guy for it. Now, there's got to be a more artful way to do it than throw it up for grabs. But if all else fails and I'm, I've am i got a big, strong guy bearing down on me that I know I'm going to lose this contest of Newtonian physics against, I'm getting rid of the football. And if it gets intercepted, so be it. That's better than me ending up being splattered onto the turf. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I hear that, you know, again, he's, he's, you know, middle, mid forties, he's trying to preserve and he's, yeah, he doesn't want to take the hits. No quarterback does certainly not. There's no doubt about that. You know, yeah, they've lost a little of the big play element of their team. You know, they haven't been able to run the ball quite the same way so that's not helping you know bring defenses up to where now they can get big plays but you know the other thing I would say this again too and this is where you know I I know people aren't going to like what I say here but this is why he's not one of the five best quarterbacks in football right now I'm sorry I know he's awesome he probably will win the MVP I know but he's not one of the five best quarterbacks in football the five best quarterbacks in football and a lot of these things still make plays that we're talking about here they still complete the pass and that's where I get sick of the Brady talk sometimes. You know, and then people go, well, he doesn't have Gronk and Antonio Brown. I, okay, great. He's got Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Does he have to have an all-star team to be awesome all the time? That's where I, I, I fight back against that narrative. Yes, you have to protect Tom Brady. He makes zero plays off schedule, and he's not good under pressure. Period. Period. That's, that's the way we are. Now, I know people are going to come at me and go, oh, you're a Brady hater. No, I'm just telling you the way it is right now in football. And, yeah, there was, you know, I'm, I'm excited to watch the film a little bit because I saw what Bruce Arians said a little bit when we were watching the game on Sunday. A few times where I went, ooh, it looked like somebody might have been open down the field, and he kind of just got the ball out of his hand real quick. Uh, he's not playing his best ball. We know he'll bounce back. But their defense is not the same right now. We know that. You know, they need their secondary to get healthy. Their pass rush hasn't been as dominant. And offensively, you know, they, 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 yeah, have lost their way a little, and he's in a cold streak. But, I, I mean, I'm not panicked about them by any stretch of the imagination. But, but, but let's remember this, and this is yeah. very important, mm-hmm. because we act like time stands still I when know. football season right. begins. Right. There is a chance, and I'm not saying it's happening, but I think it would be ludicrous for us to completely remove it from the table. And I think we, we got intoxicated by the idea in the first couple of weeks of the season, hey, this guy can play until he's 50 if he wants to. There is a chance that when Father Time inevitably whacks Tom Brady over the head 
with that big ass hourglass. It's not going to happen between January and August. It's going to happen between September and January. There is a chance that the week in and week out rigors of getting yourself ready to play football and getting hit and getting banged around and your body's not recovering as quickly as it used to, no matter how much avocado ice cream you're eating, no matter how many, how many pliability exercises you're doing, you just get to a point where there's no toothpaste left in the tube. You know, no matter how much you curl it around and turn it upside down and bang it on the table and squeeze it, there's nothing left. There's a chance that it's going to happen when there's nothing left. That uh, During football season. We're going to get to that point during... Uh, and, and I'm not saying that we're there. Right. I'm just saying we're in new territory for everybody. 44 years old, this guy's still playing at a high level. Right. There is a chance that the last grain of sand is going to fall from the hourglass during football season. Yeah. We, right. And we have to be ready for no, it. No, you're right. You're right. And Mike, you know. He has to be ready for it. Yeah. He, he it, it, well, I, I think it would be one of those things, like, I think what you're trying to say is, yeah, he, he kind of knows, like, man, this is it after just taking a beating, you know, throughout the year. And, yeah, he might not announce something like that, but you're just saying, like, he, you know, he might announce he's retiring in February or March or whatever, but he's going to come to the realization, right, at some point during the year after getting beat up and realizing, like, whoa, I don't recover. This is not the same way. I don't know if we're there yet. I don't think we are there yet. This is still a Buccaneers football team that has the potential, of course, to win the Super Bowl when they do get 100% right. healthy. Uh, but, but we need to watch for but it. But you're right. We need to we watch, need for, to watch for it. You're right. Because, well, it, it's again, it, it's two weeks in a row where if it's not protected and it's not all calm back there, that they're not the same team. And, you know, not everybody can replicate that. Of course, Washington and the Saints have really good defensive lines and good defensive coaches who can do some creative things there. So there's going to be other games here as we go down the stretch where it's going to look like it did, you know, against. Uh, some of the teams earlier this year where he just dices you up and it looks awesome and it's going to be like, man, he's still got it. But what we got to see is, you know, yeah, does he still got it, you know, when it's a defense that's the real deal that can really, you know, make things hard on Brady and the offense. And it's not just, hey, you get to sit back there and pat the ball two or three times and people are wide open. And I think that's what you're kind of saying. And, yeah, we do need to be aware of that, even for the great Tom Brady. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.